Hello everyone, welcome to DIY Design by CCW. I hope you're having a fantastic day and thank you for tuning in. Well, as you can see, I am about to do a DIY for you today and today I'm going to jump right into the DIY. Uh, I've got these three thrifted ginger jars and I'm going to make them over and do something a little bit different that I hope you like. Uh, but before I do anything, the first thing I'm going to do is uh, clean these vases with a little alcohol. Since I do plan to paint today, um, if you plan to paint glass, you want to make sure that uh, you clean it with alcohol. So once I do that, I'll be ready to get into today's DIY. Okay, so we're going to get started here and we're going to begin painting these faces. Now, I am using a different paint uh, than one that I typically use and I'm going to be doing a little series with this paint. I'm going to switch it up a little bit. If you follow this channel, you'll know uh, that I usually love to use Treasure Gold, but I'm going to try and see if I can expand my color palette and um, try some of these other paints and be, we're going to begin or I'm going to begin by using this paint uh, that is also made by Folk Art. Treasure Gold is made by Folk Art as well but this is called multi-surface paint. Now I have used it before but I usually use it on the inside or when I'm doing reverse painting so I'm going to see what the coverage looks like uh, and what the finish looks like if I do uh, use this paint um, for the exterior of my vases. Now it has many more co colors available. Uh, Treasure Gold only has maybe 12 colors, uh, I think, total. And although the colors are beautiful, you can only get so many looks from that. This paint has 52 colors, I believe, so I will be able to do a little bit more variation. So as you can see, I just finished one of the ginger jars, uh, and now I'm painting the larger jar or vase. And what I've seen or what I've learned about it, this paint, the coverage is really good. Uh, what I'm going to do is what I always do and apply three coats. But this paint drives a little bit faster than Treasure Gold. So you can probably let that first uh, coat dry maybe two hours instead of drying overnight. And then you can come back and apply your second coat, let it dry for an hour, and then apply your third coat. Now, as you can see, the coverage with the first coat is really good. Uh, and just like with the other paint, you want to make sure that you keep your brush strokes really even. Use a brush, a soft bristle brush that is made for acrylics. Um, now, as you can see, I'm going back slowly over the paint uh, and just basically evening everything out. And then once I do that, I'll set this aside, let it dry, and then we'll be ready to go to the next part of the DIY. So the paint is dry and I'm going to go ahead and go to the and move ahead with the uh, next part of the DIY. So I'm going to be doing a gold foil technique, uh, gold foil or rather gold leaf. Uh, I'm going to be applying to this base. Now I do tell, I will tell you as I'm looking at this, I really do like the way this finish turned out. So again, I am going to use this paint uh, again and I'm going to do white again because I really do like the white. So again, these, uh, this technique, this is a, um, a gold leaf that I'm going to be applying. Now you can buy gold leaf in sheets or you can buy it uh, in the flakes that I'm going to be using. You can cover the whole surface or do what I'm going to do 
which is kind of do a random pattern. Now I've done this before with silver uh, and I'll make sure to link that video down in the description box. I'm not sure how it's going to turn out with the gold, but we'll see. When I did it with the silver, I used a pink uh, paint, a beautiful folk art um, pink paint, actually the Treasure Gold brand. And I did silver and it I just love the way it came out. But I'm going to be bold today and go with this white and gold and we'll see what happens. Now you're going to need to use some sort of adhesive to apply the gold foil. Uh, whether you plan to put it over the entire surface or do a random pattern like I'm doing now. And again, this is messy, so make sure you're in a place uh, where you can easily kind of clean up. You see that I am wearing gloves um, and I'm using, there is a an adhesive that comes with the gold foil. I choose Mod Podge, uh, that's a decoupage, and I just love working with Mod Podge. And uh, I'm using the Mod Podge, um, not the, uh, I'm sorry, I had, couldn't think for a second. I've actually got to look, forgive me. I am using the Mod Podge Gloss. I was going to say satin, but it's actually gloss. All right, so, um, and the reason I'm using the gloss is because it does dry completely clear. Now, as you can see, what I'm doing uh, is painting the Mod Podge on a little bit at a time. And then I am, uh, as I'm doing that, uh, I come back with my foam applicator and I pat the, the uh, gold foil down into uh, the Mod Podge. Now, I will tell you as I was doing this, I started to just do the bottom of each of the vases, and I think that would have been just beautiful. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go all the way up and be really bold with this design, but when I do it again, I am going to see what it looks like if I do just the bottom part of the vase, and uh, if you do this, you might like this, you know, to do that as well. Again, this is a really bold look, but you know what? I'm going to try it. We'll see how it turns out, and you'll let me know uh, in the uh, comments if you like it. Now, again, when you're doing this, the look, when as you're doing it, it's going to be messy, and you're not going to be sure. <laughs> you might start second-guessing yourself, because until the Mod Podge completely dries, you really can't see how, the, how it's going to look. Also, you're going to do a little work. As you can see, I'm patting uh, the uh, gold foil down into the Mod Podge. And then I'm also going to use my applicator to kind of smooth everything out. But um, again, this is, you know, it's different if you want something unique. Of course, you can do different colors. It comes in silver and gold. And I think there is a brassy one and one where the silver and gold uh, it's kind of mixed together and you might be able to find other colors online. Now I purchased these gold, this gold foil from Michaels and uh, it was $7.49 a pack and a pack goes a long way, especially if you want to do uh, only like maybe the bottom part of your vase. You, again, you don't have to go all the way to the top and, and cover the entire thing the way I'm doing. So, all right, guys, I'm going to let you go ahead and watch me do this, and I will be back when we get to the next part of the DIY.
Okay, I'm back and we're going to now, and I'm going to now rather start on the vase. Now again, I do sort of like the finish of this paint. Uh, I do plan to use it in the future. It is a satiny finish and it doesn't have that metallic look that I'm used to or that I like to work with, but it does come in beautiful colors and I do love the color, uh, the coverage rather, so uh, I am going to use it again. Also, this paint can actually be fired, so you can actually bake this in an oven and fire the paint. The directions are right on the bottle so that, um, and cure it so that you can use, fill the vase with water or, you know, you can wash it. And uh, if you wanted to do something that you're going to use on the outside and exposed to the elements, you can do that with this multi-surface paint. So uh, here you see, I'm just going right up the vase. Again, just applying the Mod Podge. There's no certain pattern to it. The beauty of this type of foil technique is the fact that there is no pattern. Um, you want to make sure that you're patting your foil down into the Mod Podge. And um, you can put as little or as much as you want. Again, if I wanted to, I could have just stopped right here at the midway point or just put a little bit around the bottom i can um, you know cover it more completely where there's just a little bit of white or whatever color is underneath showing through it just you know depends on what you want your piece to look like so again i'm trying to be bold here and try something different so we'll see how it turns out in the end um but i think i'm gonna like it we'll see i like i said i do like the uh, silver set it's one of my favorite uh, pieces that I've done but the gold does have a little bit different look so we'll see um, then here you see me taking the uh, gold foil up the the uh, little bit further and doing the top I really wasn't sure right here just like when I did the other pieces I kept thinking should I stop now do I want to go all the way up but again I decided to go for it and cover the entire vase and just see how it turns out. Um, you know, that's part of what doing a DIY is. Sometimes you experiment and uh, you don't know until you're done what uh, your piece is gonna look like. So, all right guys, I'll let you watch me do this and then I'm gonna be back when we get to the next part of the DIY. guys I am back and this is how the the uh, smaller ginger jars turned out so you know if you follow this channel you know I'm gonna add a little bit of bling but you know what these little vases could be would be just fine uh, with just the gold foil I think they would make really nice flower uh, or floral vases and uh, in fact I'm gonna use them in a tablescape very soon uh, on my other channel, which is Tablescapes by Candy. Also, I am launching a third channel, and it is the Glam Decor channel. It's going to be some fun things on that channel, and I'll tell you about that a little later on in the video. So here I'm using some uh, fabric trim that I picked up on clearance at Joanne Fabrics. Again, this trim was marked as a Halloween trim, it doesn't look like Halloween trim to me. It's uh, crystals and rhinestones, um, and it's got the little diamond dots that I like to work with, as well as seed beads, and uh, I think it's pretty. 
So they had it on clearance and I bought all that they had. So here you see, which is typical for me uh, in my style, I'm going to add a, a little bit of trim down at the bottom of my vase. I'm going to add a little bit at the top as well. I've already done that. And uh, then I'll probably add a little brooch for my focal point. Again, not necessary. When you do a gold foil vase like this, you don't have to do anything to it. Uh, it's it's ready for floor, you know, for your uh, floral display uh, at that point. But I'm planning to use these uh, the smaller vases as little storage containers, and maybe I'll use them also as floral vases. But um, you know, that's something that I like to do so that I so that every piece I make uh, is multi-purpose. So here I'm just adding a little quick hold glue and uh, also a little hot glue. You want to make sure that the two don't touch. That way I get a nice quick hold. So there, uh, that's a little close up of what it looks like with the fabric trim and uh, everything attached. And now I'm going to move on and do the same thing <clears throat> to the vase. So I'm going to ask you to forgive me because I know that this vase is probably a little bit out of camera shot. I didn't realize as I was sliding it over <laughs> that I was sort of moving it out of the shot, but hopefully you can see what I'm doing. So there you see I am adding, I'm getting my pieces cut. And what I've decided to do is to add uh, again that same fabric trim that I used on the smaller ginger jars. And I'm also gonna use a little two millimeter close chain wrap around that uh, fabric trim. There you see me doing that, just to add a little extra pop uh, of bling. And um, I thought the two millimeter was just right. Uh, this gold uh, two millimeter wrap comes from BB Craft and I'll make sure to link uh, that down in my description box and full dis disclosure I am a BB craft affiliate all right now after I do that I will also add a little bit of trim down to the bottom uh, down at the bottom rather and uh, and then we'll move on to the next part of the DIY So now what I'm going to do is go ahead and add some more, a little bit more of this two millimeter closed chain wrap around the, um, the rim of the vase. And in order to do that, as you can see, I've turned the vase on its side. Now, what I have found, it's almost impossible to measure this kind of thing and and to, to pre-cut. So I've learned to kind of work with it and go a little bit at a time. This, this also keeps the the uh, the uh, trim straight. It's a little bit more difficult to work around the rim, uh, but I've learned to just put a little bit of adhesive on and uh, just go slowly and work my way around uh, the rim, uh, keeping it straight 
and there you see I kind of switched up. At first I was applying the adhesive to the, the, uh, the wrap and I can usually do that when I'm working with a three and a half or four, four millimeter wrap uh, or regular, you know, fabric trim. But this two millimeter wrap is so thin I was having difficulty getting the glue on. So what I decided to do is just to uh, start applying a thin bead around the rim. And I just continued to do that until I got all the way around. And then when I got, uh, you know, the two pieces to meet up, uh, I went ahead and trimmed the piece because I could do it then without uh, the um, trim falling off the or sliding off the rim. Then I placed the last little bit of glue and voila, uh, cleaned everything up. And now I've got a nice little extra pop of bling around the rim of my base. And then after that, uh, I did go ahead and glue a brooch, uh, the same type of brooch that I used on uh, the smaller pieces. And uh, once I did that, my piece was done. So here I'm going to quickly make some lids for the smaller ginger jars. If you follow the channel, you know that I do this. But if you're new, I do this all the time for a lot of my pieces so that they can be multi-purpose. And I'm going to do a simple process for this. I'm going to work with uh, some 4-inch cake boards, some 4-inch mirrors. Here I'm cutting out some glitter paper. Um, I originally wanted to use the glitter paper on top of the lid, but decided to use it for the bottom because I didn't want the knob, uh, to glue the knob to the paper. I didn't think that would be very secure. So again, I'm just stacking the boards together, gluing everything together, gluing the paper to the bottom of the stack. Then I'll attach uh, the mirror to the top. And again, it's a four inch mirror. Then I'm going to go around uh, the edge of the lid with the uh, fabric trim using the same fabric trim that I used on the vases. Then that way you won't be able to see how I have stacked the boards together. Then I'm going to glue on my little crystal knob and this will be done. All right, guys, hang on. It'll be time for the final reveal in just a moment or two. here is how the set turned out or this is how the set turned out you know what I think I like it I think I do it is very different but again if you follow this channel you know I take risk um, again it's the white base with that gold uh, in that random pattern I can't wait to see what this set looks like when I use it in a tablescape uh, then I've got my pieces on the side that I can also use uh, as floral vases, but I've made the lids to make them multi-purpose so that I can use them, um, you know, as storage pieces if I want to. Now there's a little bit closer look at the pieces. Again, very different, very different look. Um, it looks different than the silver did, but you know what? Again, I like it. But let me know what you think. Is this a piece that you would try? Um, and would you make this for your home? And um, so again, we're just taking a closer look at the vase. I'm glad that I did add that little bit of extra uh, bling around the, the rim there. I do like that. 
and I do like the way the fabric trim looks and, and all of that. So again, uh, ver versatile pieces, very versatile, whatever way you're supposed to say that word, and uh, very different and very unique. And um, we'll see how they look when, again, when I use them in a tablescape. Um, and uh, there I'm showing you the inside of the lid with the gold foil. So here we go. This is what it looks like with the white and gold. I've done it with the pink and the silver uh, just to see what this look would look like. And uh, here we're going to look at a few other things. There you see I've got some pillows that uh, I love. Uh, very glam pillows that I just have there for display purposes. These pieces in the back were just simple pieces that I did with some bling wrap and a little reverse painting on the inside uh, to, to make those pieces, but they were painted with the same color paint. There in the back is a little gold jar that I made over. Now, this hurricane uh, piece is one of my early DIYs. Um, I love it. I love it. That day, I had no idea what I was going to make. I sat down and start working with some Mod Podge and bling wrap and mirrors and thrifted pieces and that's how it turned out. And as you can see, I can lift the hurricane. Uh, there is a little cylinder down on the inside of that. So again, guys, this is how the set turned out. I do like it. I hope you do too. If you're not a member of the channel, I hope that you will subscribe today. Also, I have two other channels, Tablescapes by Candy, and you may want to visit my new channel, which is just getting started. And that is uh, the decor the Glam Decor channel. So again, thank you so much for watching. And like I say at the end of every video, I can't wait to see you, each and every one of you, in the next video.